Hello viewers, I hope you all are doing well and you have been enjoying your life and uh, we have been and, uh, discussing about Marxism and some uh, literary uh, theories and uh, this video is a part of Marxist theory or Marxism and uh, in our previous videos we have talked how uh, uh, philosophers like uh, uh, Antonio Gramsci, uh, he has tried to uh, put forward theories related to hegemony and uh, superstructure, base, these all things we have discussed. And in this video, we have taken an uh, essay uh, title ideology and ideological state apparatus not toward an investigation this is an essay written by the french marxist philosopher louis althusser louis pierre althusser he was born on 16 october 1918 and died on 22 october 1990 and he was a french marxist philosopher he was born in algeria and studied at the Ecole Normale uh, Superlary in Paris. Sorry for that uh, pronunciation. This is uh, written in French and I don't know how to pronounce French. And where he eventually became professor of philosophy. Then Althusser was a long time member and sometimes a strong critic of the French Communist Party and his arguments and uh, uh, Thesis were set against the threats that he saw attacking the theoretical foundations of Marxism. And uh, unfortunately, it is a very painful thing to mention here. Al Althusser's uh, life was marked by periods of intense mental illness. And in 1980, he killed his wife, the sociologist called Helen Richman by strangling her and uh, he was declared unfit to stand trial due to insanity and committed to a, a psychiatric hospital for three years and he did little further academic work and he was uh, died in 1990 and uh, for his wife murder he was never thoroughly investigated and in January 1981 Althusser was a deemed unfit to serve uh, trial under Article 64 of the French Penal Code with Althusser claiming diminished responsibility due to mental illness. So that's a very painful thing. Uh, this is a very means heartbroken thing to uh, ever come of. And uh, uh, he has killed someone that uh, was always uh, by his side. And he had regrets, but what? what to do and if you are suffering from mental disease then you are unaware of what you are doing and he has said uh, he has given a statement uh, about his wife uh, about his killing of wife like this i killed a woman who was everything to me during a crisis of mental confusion and she who loved me to the point of wanting only to die because she could not continue living and no doubt in my confusion and unconsciousness i did her service uh, which she did not try to prevent but from which she died so that was a very painful thing and now okay i have gi give, uh, given you the little insight about his biographical background his details just to know uh, just to enlighten you that uh, uh, some some people, uh, though they are very great philosopher, though they are very great men, uh, they they do suffer from mental disease and they do have very um, peculiar life, and they their life is too f full of chaos. Okay, now let's begin our chapter. Uh, this video will be very longer. Okay, and uh, you have to. Uh, be with me if you want to know the whole thing about the um, essay. So this is the picture of uh, uh, Al Thuser with his wife. Uh, it it seems that they were enjoying, right? Okay, now let's go on. Okay, uh, this 
essay, uh, Ideology and Ideological State Apparatus. It was first published in 1970, and it advances Althusser's theory of ideology, while Karl Marx and Frederick Engels posited a tiny scale theory of ideology as false consciousness, and Althusser draws upon the works of later theories such as Antonio Gramsci, Sigmund Freud, and uh, Freud, and Jacques Lacan to proffer a more elaborate redefinition of the theory and Althusser's theory of ideology has remained influential since it was written. And now first we have to know uh, about some fundamental terms like what is ideology? You might have heard this uh, word. Ideology is a set of ideas which forms the basis for a political or economic system that is called ideology. Got it? And now, what is apparatus? Apparatus, this is um, the set of tools, instruments, or equipments used for doing a job or an activity. So that all things in together call as apparatus. Uh, we can take an example like a set of equipment, tools, or machine that is used for particular purpose like knife or like we can say pan like oven and we can also say that uh, apparatus also means uh, like uh, some or organizations in our uh, society like police police army and school college this all all things these all things are called apparatus etc etc and in this essay Althusser uh, has tried to uh, depict that how the conditions of, of means of production and productive forces are reproduced and maintained in society and according to Althusser uh, the reproduction of the productive forces is ensured by the waste system and that pays a minimum amount to the working class so that they may have to work every day and also may not raise in status. And wages are set not by biological needs but by the historical minimum. On the other hand, the conditions of production are also needed to be reproduced. The conditions of production include uh, machinery, skills, raw materials, etc. Got it? Now, without any delay, let's come to the main point. According to Althusser, the capitalist class is the base and wor working class is the superstructure. This is a very important point to be noted. Uh, that capitalist class has the, uh, in the capitalist class, uh, there is two things we have already talked one is base and other is uh, superstructure okay and the capitalist class is called base and the working class is called superstructure and in capitalist class uh, the base controls the superstructure through two two ways or through two uh, two tools number one is repressive state apparatus or in short we can say rsa and another is ideological state apparatus this is uh, in short it will be isa these two things are very important for your examination as well as if you want to do further re research on this topic now we will try to know that what is repressive state apparatuses According to Althusser, state is a repressive apparatus. It is a machine of repression that makes the ruling class dominate the working class. And this is done through police, courts, prisons, governments, administration, etc. Got it? Now, you, you might have seen in our society that there are some uh, elements or organizations which are completely related to government or the state okay like police courts prisons governments administration and these all are according to althusser are the uh, elements of repressive apparatus these all machineries are used in the society to maintain law and order but it also uh, these things also misused sometimes by the state itself okay and according to althusser these all things are the machine and by through this machine the state 
they they try to make the ruling class dominate the working class got it and the repressive state apparatuses function as a united entity uh, and whenever an individual or a group of individual challenges the dominant ideology of the state the latter uses repressive state apparatuses in order to stabilize the former and this apparatus apparatuses are always violent so uh, he has said that these all um, apparatuses like uh, we already have talked uh, um, police courts prisons defense governments administrations these all things are very violent right and uh, these all things are tools are used by the state to dominate the society in various ways and especially the working class because working class people are always uh, they are exploited and dom dominated by the state or the you can say the or the uh, non working class now let's try to know about uh, ideological state apparatus i s a in short ideological uh, state apparatus is uh, is uh, basically it is the function behind the seal in the form of morals and ethics and ideological state apparatuses are quite different from the repressive state apparatus as there are uh, no violence so uh, althusser has said that um, ideological state apparatuses are the tools uh, that is uh, built by the state itself but uh, through this medium or through this media or tools the state they uh, does they they do not want to uh, rule on the society through force rather they they impose they impose some kinds of ethics some kind of morality in order to rule the society and these two uh, in uh, through uh, by this medium to uh, always the working classes are suppressed always working classes are are um, are means victimized okay uh, and the non working class people they always enjoy this ideological state apparatuses according to althusser okay and uh, they include educational institutions religious institutions family media outlets trade unions cultural groups political groups legal groups etc these all things are ideological state apparatus according to althusser and through these tools the state wants to uh, rule over the society rule over the common folks through uh, through ethics and through morality got it it is very simple uh, we have already talked about ideological um, state apparatuses and um, repressive uh, apparatus right and uh, there are uh, not so uh, vast differences between this and in all ideological state apparatuses the set of ideological di discourses at work are always dominated by the ruling ideology got it and according to althusser uh, the educational institution is the core of ideological state apparatuses in earlier times church used to save the minds of the people and today it is the uh, responsibility of the school which makes the children learn morals and ethics right and and, and this is an this is a process and an example of ideological state apparatus according to althusser and uh, the students uh, when they are taught in the proper ways of behavior ways of talking interacting thinking and acting and this all this all are part of isa and those who dominate become capitalists while others become workers and ruling ideologies do not enjoy freedom in ideological state apparatus thus they uh, form subjects got it okay that's it uh, i have tried to uh, talk about the ideological state apparatus and its uh, counterpart 
and uh, it is not so hard i think I, i think you have got to know about it okay that's it and uh, thank you for watching the video here i'm uh, scrolling down uh, this pdf and if you want to take screenshot here uh, the, here you can pause and take the screenshot this will help you if you want to uh, put arguments in your exam or in, in your any debate com competition here i have uh, put that thing okay this thing this you can take a screenshot and here i have also brought the differences between the rsa and isa the repressive state apparatus and uh, and uh, ideological state apparatuses that's it this thing you can take a screenshot or and and you can note it down and whatever i have told you and i have explained it to you and this is not the absolute concept okay this is just a per- perspective this is mere perspective by uh, from uh, from my side okay and uh, you must read the original text or the essay and you must consult with your teachers professors or your uh, guides in order to have the complete understanding of the text and this is just my perspective this is my uh, own understanding of the text got it Thank you so much for watching the video. Keep on supporting the channel by just uh, telling how I have uh, miss what what you need, what your demand that you all can uh, put it down in the comment box. Bye bye.